Privacy sounds like a great idea, but can be a problem. Even for companies which make money on exactly that, privacy services. This is Moko with me, Maike Delver. Christian, yeah. you're working at Startpage, yes. an incognito search engine, NSA and filter bubble free. How do you know what your users want? Well, um, they want a search engine like they're used to from back in the day. So in 98, uh, Google started with uh, being a quality search engine and that set the standard. So what we want to do is to make sure that people can search where they're looking for, uh, but still being fully private and respect their privacy so they're not commercially uh, exploited uh, by annoying ads that follow you around or a filter bubble, for example. But if it's so private, how, yeah. how, how do you know what they want then? Um, well, we don't know it particularly because we don't know anything from our users. Uh, we cannot speak to them easily. The only thing, uh, only way to speak to them is when they contact us through support, for example. Um, but um, we are, ha uh, we do have counters, for example, like uh, uh, anonymous uh, way of tracking how many features are being used. So from that perspective, we can optimize the search engine itself with all the options that it has. Yeah. And I can imagine that it's, it's, it's great to know your users. Sure. Um, is there a plan for you um, to get to know them better? Um, no, actually not. Uh, the only thing that we would like to do is um, making sure that uh, to ask them for feedback in an anonymous way through surveys, uh, for example. For some people, it's really great to get really tailored results. And for you, it's it's even even more hard to get data yep. results because you don't know your user. Yep. How is it for a start page? We want to make sure that people not get lazy in a way. We don't want people to go into a filter bubble. Uh, what I personally believe is that uh, last 10 years you see more people thinking in the same way. If search engines like Google and Yahoo give you the same results based on your history, then you're being trapped in a filter bubble and that's the world how it, how it looks like for you. So if you have a specific way of thinking, for example, uh, politically, um, then you're being confirmed all the time in your way of thinking rather than having a different set of results where you might be, your thought might be changed. And that's what you see in Europe. The filter more, bubble. The filter bubble, which ends up um, making people think more to the left or more to the right. There's less in between. Uh, you see that in the Netherlands, you see that in France, you see that in the US. Um, so people are shifting um, and th we believe that that's dangerous in a way. So we want to make sure that uh, people have results based on an algorithm and not based on personal uh, results. Yeah, you want people to get, to get them out of the filter bubble. Yeah, to make, to, to make their own opinion on things yeah. rather than uh, pushing them in a way. I really love these strivings. Thank you very much uh, sure. for this interview, Christian. Welcome. If you would like to know more about uh, privacy on the, the internet, then visit our website mocomoments.com and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you.